Can I get to the yams? Sweet yams. We finished the other three shotguns. The last one you have left is the Bryson 800. We are two for 20 on the headshots right now. We are 54 kills away from finishing the mastery camel challenge for gold. So let's hop into it. Every time I hit a button, I feel like I go back like three or four menus, really. Which is kind of annoying, but uh, let's just finish this shit. Wait a minute. I just realized regular shipment is back. Yeah, it's not the naughty playlist anymore, which makes sense. Christmas is over. I don't really have a whole lot of commentary to say today. I mean, <laughs> like, what am I really supposed to say? We got shotguns to work on, mother effers. And it shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world, but um, it really wasn't. This is honestly an extremely easy challenge if we're being real here. I think what we're going to do is take this off and put on the slug rounds and then buff the bullet velocity and the range of these all the way. I don't really know what the difference is between these two, but we're going to take this off and put this on so that way we've got a really tactical AF shotgun with all the range in the world, but all the mobility in the world. And it's probably not going to be as good as I want it to be, but we can hope. Like when you ADS with guns in this game, it feels so wonky sometimes. There's one headshot, so. Okay, so that's two. We're four, 16, 16 left to go. Jesus, man. 16 headshots left to go, and then we're done with this gun. So I've been enjoying playing through all of these camel challenges, though polyatomic is without a doubt the easiest one. It's not even close. Like in comparison to all the other camels we had to do. It's not even close when I say polyatomic is without a doubt the easiest one. Like headshots take legitimately really no real effort, and it's better than the MW19 challenges where they wanted you to get like a hundred headshots per gun. Like we're being real here. This challenge is nothing compared to Damascus. I hated that challenge. Come here. What is happening right here? Okay. This lobby is insane, oh my lord. It's currently around 1.12 in the afternoon, and I did just get through farming a few kills for the rocket launcher challenges, so I might just be getting blessed with the Kaga guys right now. Considering we're very close to a gunship, also, I kind of don't want to take any chances and uh, just kind of want to hang out right here. You know, a little, little cheat to just camp. We're almost at a gunship, man. Okay. I think we, if we just get like, oh, we just need 50 points. We're going to wait. Make sure that grenade doesn't kill us. And just chill right here. Yeah, we're just going to wait legitimately right here. Hello. <laughs> we got a gunship already. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, 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 da. Now, so I recorded yesterday's video. Oh, we died. I recorded yesterday's video actually today. Um, well, I didn't think we were going to die already. That sucks. I was hoping we can keep it going, maybe. I've never gotten a nuke with this game, but it would be fun to maybe go for it. Give it a try, you know? I know I'm obviously clearly the most elite Call of Duty player you'll ever see in your entire life. Damn, we are murking these kids. Holy cow. I'm thinking of um, making the gameplay a little bit different with each video, though. Instead of like just doing this blanket commentary, like cut commentary kind of stuff that some other YouTubers do, like Jev or Plus or a few other ones. You know, we just make it so where it's just pure gameplay, pretty much. Into the mid right there. A couple of shots. Okay. How many kills did we get? We got around 10, nothing crazy. If this was hardcore, we would've got way more. Dude, the gunship does not last long in this game though, whatsoever. That thing goes away quickly. What is happening? This lobby is literally the bodiest thing I've ever played in. I might not even have to cut much of this. Headshot. Look at that guy, he's just staring at the sky. This is... Honestly, I don't really have too much to say about this. Like, there's nothing to complain about, really. We're at 34 kills with the game not having gone on that long. And now I'm afraid, though. Once I get out of this game, what are my lobbies going to look like afterwards? You know what I'm saying? Jesus. Yeah, they're all just kind of chilling, man. It's like all the dads are kind of taking their lunch break at home, you know? 
other work from home jobs and whatnot and uh, just kind of vibe it man and I i'm here for it by all means there's a kill got that guy in the back of his head okay honestly this is probably a phenomenal lobby to do rocket launcher kills in if we're being real here Actually, yeah, let, let's, let's see how many rocket launcher kills we can get, because with the way things are going... Okay, well, maybe it's not looking so bright now. We might need the oppressiveness of my shotgun to kind of keep things going, but there's a kill right there. Reload. I just almost killed myself. We got two more rockets, though. All right. I know I died, though, so maybe we can go back and get that rocket, those rockets from that body over there. Every time I'm like about to get ready to fire, there's always an additional person like just ready to go, you know? And like, there's a guy right there. I guess we're just focusing on the headshots for now. Screw it. There's another one. I don't know how many we are at right now, but I do know that we've gotten quite a few of them. The slug rounds are pretty much the best way to go for this, in my opinion. Like, I tried it without it, and yeah. Not that I really didn't get the same level of results, you know. Lots of just body shots, like constant body shots. Even if I had the reticle, like right on the head, you know, I would still just get body shots. So I think we're just sticking with the slug rounds, the best idea. Another headshot right there. Okay. There's another headshot right there. That guy just mowed all of us down in one burst of his LMG. Easily. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a double kill. Let's go. At that point, I'm just blind fire. I'm just hoping to get something. All right, I saw the guy on the radar. Got another one. Is that a double kill? I would think it would be. Those two are pretty close together. <laughs> I'm literally just blind firing around quarters of prey. All right, I heard a headshot right there. Maybe that'll count. I don't think we got many double kills though. I think we got a max just the one. I don't know if those other ones are gonna count because they were they were close together. I hope they count. 56 to 28, we went exactly two. We had an exact two KD. Nice, one more headshot to go. It did not feel like we actually did. What, what did we start with just two? It didn't, it, it didn't feel like we did 17 that game. Okay, we got nine out of 15 on here. Not bad. All right, just a few more to go. And by a few, I just beaten the one. So as soon as we get this one headshot right here, Okay. We can start doing the sniper rifles now, I guess. I did say I was gonna do the marksman rifles next, but uh, what the fuck? I do wonder if this would be easier than a ground war. Ah, I missed it. I just know that as soon as we get that first headshot, we're gonna be on a roll. And there we go. First one in the bag. Jesus, man. That scared the literal shit out of me. Another one. Another one. Okay, three out of 20. You only gotta get 22, which is not too bad. Now this will probably take some time really. Okay, one more. This will definitely just take a little bit of time compared to the other uh, headshot challenges for the other guns. Oh, we're about to get struck with a cruise missile over there. Get the heck out of there. Oh my God. We only have five bullets because we're using the five round magazine. That quicker reload for that faster ADS speed. Body shot. I think we're at five out of 20 now. Nice. Not too shabby. If it gets chaotic enough, we might bring out the RPG or the rocket launcher, the, the Pila, whatever it is. Or those uh, double kills. The only thing that sucks about using a sniper rifle in modern Call of Duty is there's so much flinch now. It's like Destiny. Like, Destiny has some of the worst flinch mechanics I've ever seen in a video game. There's a headshot. And it just makes sniping in that game not fun. Like, it, it's truly not meant to be a run and gun kind of thing like Call of Duty's were. 
Don't know how I don't hit that. Like he's literally on the ground right there. I think we're at six out of 20, six or it's either five. I'm pretty, it's definitely five, but I don't remember if we got anything past five at this point. We'll have to see though. Cause getting that many one match. Okay, well we're definitely at a six out of 20 now. I think we're, we're like legitimately at seven. I hate shock charges, man. Like if Battle Harden actually worked, cause like in its current state, Battle Harden literally does nothing. That's a dead shot, sure. No, I didn't reach chamber quick enough. I think I have the wrong bolt on. Or do I have one on at all? I don't. Well, that sucks. We could have a nice little feed right there. Headshot. Missed. Oh, I hit that, never mind. Jesus. Actually, okay, so this isn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. You just literally aim for the head. Once I finish sniper rifles, it's pretty much easy. Like, it's done. Jesus, man. <laughs> Spawning in and getting shot is without a doubt the most annoying thing compared to just getting spawn trapped. Okay, one. And he came around the corner ready to pre-fire me. That's fun. I hope your parents are proud of you for pre-firing poor guy. Just trying to get his rocket launcher kills done. Not as fun as that first lobby was, but man, that literally could have been worse. Let's see, we got 13 out of 20 in our first time using a stop rifle for purely just headshots. Not too shabby. A lot of body shots here and there. Um, I don't know, do we get any double kills the game? Yeah, we're at nine out of 15 on that still. We're on the second to last launcher too, just the sniper rifles pretty much left to work on. Like we're in the money right now, man. We got four sniper or five sniper rooms to go through, but that'll be all right. The XPX is actually pretty fun. The uh, Victus is fun, the signal is fun. The LAB is actually kind of mad to me, but um, this should all be pretty relatively easy. I, like I said, I might do this on keyboard and mouse. I don't know, we'll see. I had a lot of success with this on controller for the first sniper rifle, so maybe it won't be so bad after all, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Sub to the channel for more game content. And as always, I'll see you later. Peace.